Hello everyone, Nina here. Today we are going to create a beautiful scrapbook 8x8 layout using a lot of Art by Merlin products and especially talking about the new release that is going to be released in cup. The acrylic, amazing acrylic markers and the beautiful stencil paste, the silver and the golden ones. So let's just begin. The first step that we're gonna start with is creating the background. I just cut the 8x8 scrap of paper from watercolor paper and then I'm using my glass mat to apply two colors from Art by Merlin acrylic paint. I apply them randomly on the glass mat and then I just move them a little bit with the brush, sprayed a little bit of water and then I flipped my paper and I started smooshing it against my glass mat multiple times probably adding water again on the glass mat in between until I'm finally happy with how the background looks like sometimes it would warp like this and while drying make sure that you just press a little bit for just a little bit of time to flatten it until it a little bit dries and then I am using my heat gun to accelerate the drying process so I can work on the next step for the next layer, I want to do a little bit of stamping and to do that, I would like to use the new golden stencil paste to actually use it as ink with my stamps. Let me show you what I mean. This is the new golden stencil paste. This paste also, there is a silver color from it. They're going to be released in a couple days. Check the link in the description below. Maybe by the time it, I upload this video, it is already released. I also will add links to all the supplies, materials, and tools that I'm going to use today. So what we're going to do is use our gel plate as an ink pad. Applying a thin layer of the paste on the gel plate. And then use our stamps to stamp from the ink pad, which is now the gel plate. And apply it to wherever you want on your background. Look how beautiful. Look at the shimmer, the shine. It's so amazing. I'm not using um, acrylic block because I don't want them to be stamping perfectly. I want it to be sketchy. So I don't want a proper full impression. These are all stamps from stamp sets from Art by Merlin. I will leave them linked down below. Whatever stamp sets that I found that has letter or words or shapes, I would use it over here to decorate my background as this layer is the stamping layer. Look how beautiful it is. The shine, the texture, and the beautiful pattern from the stamps. So I'm gonna leave this to dry completely before I go to the next layer because I don't want the paste to be smudged. And make sure, I left this part to show you, make sure to take all what is left on your gel plate and add it back inside your stencil paste jar and make sure to clean your top before closing so when you close it next time it's all mess free and all clean. For the next step I'm adding the focal marking now on the focal points. For the focal points I cut different shapes and sizes from the new collage paper pad. I again I'm applying two different uh, colors from uh, shades of blue from the acrylic paints from Art by Merlin. And I'm again adding them to the glass mat, spraying with water and smushing my uh, little paper scraps. Again, I'm here working on each of them after it's totally dry to give them a little bit of a uh, vintage worn out look. So like rolling a little bit, cutting um, not, uh, parts of the paper and then rolling each side of it to give it this beautiful look. I'll do the same thing for all the papers. Some of them I'm just gonna warp like this to give it a little bit of worn out look. Look, it's very easy to make. I'll do the same thing for the rest of them. And then we're gonna move on to the next step. Over here, before I arranged everything on the layout, I found out that there are little blank so i decided to add more stamping on each of these scraps some of them are just patterns some of them are just words over here i found this beautiful code that says you are strong so i did also stamp it with a darker shade from distress inks i'm taking my time here 
to arrange the scraps of papers how I would like it to be. I also found that it became a little too much of a blue. I decided to add a little bit of pink and white on some of the papers. Now that I started liking how it looks, I took the biggest uh, scrap of paper and I added foam tape at the back. And then I'm using my sticky glue from Art by Merlin to stick it on the layout directly. And then I'm gonna apply the rest of the papers, some of them with more dimensions, some of them directly on my background. And here is now the fun part. I felt that my layout needed a little bit of greenery and leaves. So I die cut these little branches from different dies that I had in my stash. I took out all the greens from the new acrylic markers. And look, the first technique that I'm gonna use on this branch that I'm gonna use three colors, the teal, the grass and the little lime color and i'm just scattering them without any um, specific design over here and there all the colors until i got this look for the second one i decided to only color the branches with the teal and then give a little bit of grass shade and then the lime at the end they blend beautifully look at this i will show you now what i mean by blending so I'll just show you the third design. I added a little teal of green and then I'm using a darker yellow to blend the yellow and the green and then um, blending with them the lighter yellow. Look how beautiful. Totally different look from the same, almost the same colors. Let me show you what I mean by blending. Look how amazing it is. You can just blend any two colors together I blended green and yellow and you can easily clean the tap and it will again go back to right normal um, yellow color. Look how beautiful it is. Let me also blend these two for you. The dark yellow and the lighter yellow. Just amazing. It's beautiful. Also notice that when you want to blend, make sure that your paper is going to help you blend. Some papers won't. Let me show you this part and then we'll go back to the paper. Once the paint dries, you can totally write over it and the colors are actually opaque. So you can easily blend them when they're not yet dry, but once dry, you can totally, again, color over them and it's totally opaque. Look at the three designs that I created so far, or four, I guess. Look how different, almost same colors and three different designs. The, this is the pink one is the one where I discovered that they can easily uh, make the pink on top of the green and they're totally dry and they're, the pink is opaque and not showing the green underneath. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, back to the paper. The paper I'm using where I was able to blend easily is my Bristol Smooth. I'm going to leave it linked down below. I have also used the paper from Art by Merlin Art Journals and they also beautifully blend. But it just happened that I took these papers out at this time. Okay, back to my layout. Now I am going to add some leaves here and there. And then I found that the white was really plain. So I decided to come with my very light pink color from the acrylic markers and added some lines here and there on the this, this is a close-up so you can see and also added a darker red to give it a little bit of color with the same light pink i am coloring this scrap of paper so i can make a frame around my coat the coat says karma has no deadline it's such a beautiful coat and it is from the recent sticky coats uh, from the recent release from art by merlin i thought i'll give it a little bit of pink frame around it so it matches with all the colors that I have on my um, layout. So I did cut all around it, leaving this little frame of pink all around it. And then I'm going to add it to my layout. And then I thought when I when the sticky coats were out, I found these beautiful stamps. They're sticky stamps. And I just thought I'll add some here and there. And then the white part that was bothering me in the middle I foundly <laughs> just I finally found a very perfect size of a stamp and I added and it matches so much with the pink stamp perfect together then I I brought all my booklets cut out booklets from art by Marlene and I took out everything that was pink and I started scattering them here and there on my layout and they just made a huge difference I found this cute butterfly with the colors pink and blue it just matches perfectly with my layout and I love this turquoise blue flower 
and I recreated it again from pink using the recent paper pad and then more elements pink elements here and there I'm taking my time to place everything where I want it to be and then a final touch I thought to bring all my focal elements to bring it together with the background so I added a little bit here and there on my focal elements from the golden paste I started with the heart I colored the heart and then I thought I'll add a little bit some lines I'm using my art by Marlene very thin brush few thin lines on the star from following the lines of the stamps and then again some here and there on every scrap that I have just very subtle but it will bring everything together look how beautiful it is the shine matching with the background at the back here and there it looks so beautiful and of course I will always end my decoration with using some enamel dots they add a beautiful finishing touch so I'm just adding two shades of sort of a teal color since my background is all teal here and there on my background on the focal elements and some of my, on the background I love it so much look at the dimension the colors the acrylic colors the beautiful golden touch from the stencil paste well I have so much fun creating this scrapbook layout with you guys today I hope you did too I'll leave you now with the image thank you so much for watching I will see you all next time bye